Good morning. My name is Dawn Waking. I'm a dentist here in beautiful Colorado, and I get to be here to talk to you guys today because over the past few years, I've been relatively vocal about my personal experience in dentistry and my passion for learning. Um, dental school, I think, kind of drops us out in the world without any real experience or knowledge about how to run a business, how to talk to our patients, or how to lead a team. And boy, was I just surprised when I realized that I have no business owning a business. <laughs> I was really heartbroken when I found out how isolating dentistry could be. Um, but I'm lucky enough that I quickly found some mentors that showed me what I knew had to be true all along. We're not alone in this. We've got this excellent community. Um, these dentists that are my mentors are like superheroes in my eyes, and um, I've been thankful to learn from them over the last few years. And I'd like to share with you this morning my top three tips for how to love the heck out of dentistry. Number one, you've got to get good. I think that there's no possible way that you can love something that you're not really good at. And if you think about anything in your life that you really enjoy, chances are you're probably pretty good at it. I noticed a difference in the dentists that I would meet at continuing education courses. And these lifelong learners aren't your typical hunched over dude who's complaining about how insurance is ruining our profession. Uh, these lifelong learners are the dentists who, like you all, who are excited about bringing new technology into their office. And they're stoked to go to work with their family and friends every day. And that leads me to my second tip for enjoying the heck out of dentistry. Perfect your circle. Who's in your circle of trust? They say that you're going to be the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And in this setting, I think we can think of that as our five groups. So who's on your team at work? And what dental organizations are you involved with? And who are your superheroes? I think that choosing your circle is part of living life with intention instead of just letting it all happen by accident. This whole eat, sleep, dental, cry a little bit, and repeat it the next day. <laughs> My third tip for loving the heck out of dentistry, and I think probably the most important, is enjoy the struggle. My personal superhero, Dr. Jerry Savory, uh, we were having a beer recently, and he said, oh gosh, if I could be your age again. And I, of course I thought, oh good, he's gonna give me the secret to life. What do you got? Tell me, what would you do differently? And he clarified, no, no, I wouldn't do anything differently. I would do everything the same, but I would enjoy the struggle more. And I think that struggle means so much different things to all of us. It could be financial, relationships, or capturing the perfect impression. Uh, we get so used to this mindset of, I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when I get into dental school. I'll be happy when I finally get those require, crown requirements. When I finally get a job, get my own practice, get the perfect team, when I can retire, and the truth is, life is happening at work when, our, when we're running 15 minutes late and our hygienist is waiting for us at the door. Life is happening one class two composite at a time. The more that we're kind of trained to feel like we're alone in this profession is the more that I realize we need each other. We need that humility that comes from asking a colleague for advice, uh, but we also need that boost that we get when somebody asks us for help. Look at this outstanding organization we've got here at the ADA. We've got superheroes all around us who are loving the heck out of dentistry. Thank you guys very much.